A hospitalized Brighton man has to start over after a fire destroyed his home. Good evening. Thanks for joining us this Friday night. I'm Jack Royer. We begin this evening with Corey McGinnis live in studio after speaking to neighbors today with their emotions raw and on display, Corey. Yeah, Jack, it was pretty emotional today. According to police, burglars have hit his home several times while he's been fighting for his life in the hospital. And now there's no going back to that house when he gets out after it burned down. All he had is gone. Sorrowful and distraught. So that makes me feel sad and mad. Laura Martinez looks at what's left behind at her neighbor's house across the street after it burned down Friday around noon in Brighton. And I don't know how this could happen if he was not living at the house at the moment. Martinez says Alan Mann has been in and out of the hospital for months. She says his house has been broken into several times while he's been getting treatment. Since he's been sick a lot this time. He hasn't even been home, so there's no home to come back to. When Brighton and Lipscomb fire crews arrived on the scene, the home was fully engulfed in flames. It got so hot, Martinez's plastic mailbox began to melt. But while battling the flames, explosions would erupt, making the job tougher, wounding two firefighters. While the firefighters are extinguishing the blaze, one of Lipscomb firefighters and one of our own Brighton firefighters got injured. Brighton Assistant Fire Chief Kenneth Hooten says the injuries were minor and the two were transported to UAB West. They are recovering. They have been released from the hospital and they're, they're expecting to make a full recovery. Luckily, no other injuries have been reported. Meantime, Martinez is left feeling heavy hearted, knowing her hospitalized neighbor will have to rebuild. There got to be some help for him. It's, it's just bad. Now, Chief Hooten says the Brighton Fire Department plans to help out the man uh, financially. We also learned that the Red Cross has stepped in. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. In the studio tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you.